Hello friends, this is Michael and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be sharing with you top 5 ways to do more with less using ChatGPT. So what exactly is ChatGPT? It has been on the news a lot lately and I'm sure that regardless of your geography or your profession, you have heard about it already. But whether you are a ChatGPT user or just considering giving it a shot, this video is for you. So what is ChatGPT? ChatGPT is a generative AI, which basically means it can analyze and summarize content from a huge set of information. And what made it so powerful is a more advanced machine learning algorithms and a vast a database of knowledge from the internet and other sources. Currently, ChatGPT has two main versions, GPT-3 and GPT-4. At the time of recording this video, the third version of ChatGPT is free, and GPT-4 has recently been released and available at an additional cost as part of ChatGPT Plus subscription. I've been playing with it for a few months now, and I have to admit that despite all the debate surrounding its potential impact on jobs and other ethical considerations, this tool has a lot of potential and can improve your general productivity. So here are five awesome things you can do with ChatGPT that will help you level up your career and everyday life. If you ever wanted to learn how to code or improve your programming skills, now is a perfect time to start because ChatGPT has got your back. It's like having a personal tutor at your fingerprints. You can ask it anything from basics of Python to more complex concepts like conditional statements and it will give you a clear explanation with some examples. For instance, you can ask, what is a function in Python? Or can you explain JavaScript in two minutes? And ChatGPT will give you an answer. Apart from programming, ChatGPT can help you learn practically anything. Whether you're trying to improve your skills in a specific field or just want to expand your general knowledge, ChatGPT can be your go-to resource. Let's say you're interested in learning more about a particular topic like economics. You can ask ChatGPT to explain basic principles of economics or give you an overview of different schools of thought. And from there, you can ask uh, more specific questions like can you explain the concept of supply and demand? Or what are the pros and cons of marginal analysis? And the best part is that you can learn at your own pace and on your own schedule. You don't have to worry about booking appointments or missing out on important information. In other words, it's a perfect tool for anyone looking to learn new skills. By the way, if you made it into this video this far, you are probably interested in this topic in general productivity tips. So please let us know in the comments below what are some of your productivity tips and use cases for ChatGPT. I used to struggle with writing content and I'm sure many of you can relate. But with ChatGPT, writing has never been easier. Whether you need to write a report, on email or a blog, or any other kind of written content, ChatGPT can assist you in getting started and even help you generate ideas. Here's an example. Let's say you want to write a blog about benefits of exercising, but you're not sure where to start. Simply ask ChatGPT help me write a blog about the benefits of exercising and will offer you suggestions of a structure and even help you with the writing process. But that's not all. ChatGPT can help you refine and improve your existing content. For example, you can ask it to um, check my grammar and suggest improvements for a report that you recently written. It can help you make it more concise and engaging or even suggest ways to make it more funny. <laughs> Also, those of you applying for jobs right now, you can use ChatGPT to help you improve your resume. For example, you can ask ChatGPT to help you um, make your resume sharper or give you suggestions for more powerful verbs and adjectives that will make your achievements stand out. You can also ask ChatGPT to give you feedback on your resume or suggest ways to improve it. For example, you can ask it to highlight areas that might need a bit more detail or suggest ways to make your resume more concise. Please remember to always be honest about your experience though, and don't lose your unique tone of voice. You can also use ChatGPT for planning. You can ask it any question related to your task or project. For example, you can say, I need to plan a marketing campaign, what my first step should be. Or I'm planning a trip to Australia, can you help me plan it? And ChatGPT will generate a response that will help you get started or even give you some guidance on how to proceed. You can also ask it for any specific recommendations or advice on how to overcome a particular obstacle or in challenge. Another useful feature of ChatGPT for planning is that it can help you break down larger projects into smaller, more manageable tasks. For example, you can ask it, I need to plan a conference, but it seems overwhelming. Can you help me break down into smaller steps? 
and ChatGPT will give you a list of specific tasks that you can focus on, making the overall project seem less daunting. Overall, ChatGPT is an incredibly powerful tool that can help you plan and organize your tasks and projects more efficiently. So if you ever feel stuck or overwhelmed, you can give it a try and see how it can help you overcome it. And if this was not enough for you, you can also use ChatGPT to help you automate your tasks. Although some understanding of programming may be required, ChatGPT can help provide guidance to help users create their own integrations between different applications. For example, if you found yourself frequently performing repetitive tasks, such as sending triplicate emails or conducting manual data entry, by using ChatGPT capabilities, users can create scripts in various programming languages, including Python and Java, to automate the task for you. While the initial script may not be perfect, ChatGPT can help you and assist with debugging and testing using straightforward human-like language. So now you might be asking, what is the difference between GPT-3 and GPT-4? One major change is that GPT-4, in addition to text, can also use image inputs. Users are able to upload images like photos or charts and ask ChatGPT to extract and interpret information from it. This is truly mind-blowing and for sure will have a ton of new use cases. ChatGPT4 also has much better performance. Apparently, OpenAI were able to advance ChatGPT creativity and ability to understand longer context of up to 25,000 words of text from a user. It also able to provide more accurate results. ChatGPT is a hot topic right now, and there are plenty of heated discussions about the future of AI. ChatGPT offerings and subscription model may change and evolve over time, but regardless, everything comes at a price. When using ChatGPT, you have to consider that the content it generates might not be 100% accurate and it's important to do your own research. Additionally, ChatGPT may use your data to further train their model, so there are some privacy concerns you should know about. Not surprisingly, it also sparked a lot of discussion in the education industry due to copyright issues. And finally, its potential impact on jobs and income of people is another big topic of debate right now. Despite the concerns, ChatGPT is an emerging technology and that is here to stay and will only keep improving. The responsibility is on us to ensure that we are leveraging its powers for good. By the way, this video was not sponsored by OpenAI or any other business. Everything that I have shared with you is based on my personal experience and opinion and I encourage you to do your own research before making any conclusions. Thank you so much for watching, hope you found this video useful and now ready to bootstrap your productivity with AI. If you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more content like this. See you in the next one.